Good morning guys, welcome to Trade Confident. We will be going over our crypto charts today and looking at Bitcoin. We've successfully been able to call the last four drops and it's been to the exact candle. Well, I'm gonna show you guys something different today. We're gonna go over some really bullish news about crypto and then I'm gonna show you guys why I just exited 25% of my entire crypto holdings and why I believe you guys should as well, even in the face of all this bullish news. Let's get into it. Opening the floodgates. Crypto braced for a 10 trillion earthquake. I'm gonna cut to the chase, guys. I'm not gonna make you guys read all this. I'm just gonna get to the good stuff. This is a huge milestone for the crypto space as it demonstrates the demand for BlackRock's clients and institutional investors to access Bitcoin. Coinbase, 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 widely regarded as one of the world's biggest crypto on-ramps, announced this week, by the way, this article came out yesterday, that it would connect to Aladdin, BlackRock's investment technology platform that handled, get this, $21.6 trillion worth of assets in 2022. Now, here's the prediction that's going around online that is just kind of uh, probably sparking a little bit of this bullishness this morning. The news has sparked a wave of Bitcoin price predictions with investors claiming BlackRock exposure could see the Bitcoin price return to its all-time highs of almost 70000 per Bitcoin as institutional and retail inflows pick up momentum I predict, not me, just reading this here, I predict that we will see Bitcoin hit fresh all-time highs by the end of the year. All right, guys, do I agree with this? Um, I, I, I don't. I do not believe that because of this article coming out, BlackRock, you know, exposing their investors to Bitcoin, that we're just going to, you know, come over here and shoot up, what is it, over 180% to the all-time highs, 185, maybe pushing, you know, to hit all-time highs, maybe 190% potentially, I don't believe there's enough momentum. Now, just because it comes out with BlackRock, you know, opening up to investors and, you know, institutional investors as well, that doesn't guarantee how much of them are going to put their money in crypto. You know, they're over here, they're flashing these big numbers. What is it, 20, 21.6 trillion worth of assets in 2020? Okay, that's great. Not all that's going into crypto. So I, I know it's a bullish article, guys, and, and yes, we are seeing that impact this morning, but I want to just be a little bit cautious there. I want to take us over here. What I'm watching for, regardless of whatever news article comes out, because we have had so many news articles come out here while Bitcoin, like Bitcoin's going to crash, the recession's going to crash Bitcoin to zero. Oh, we've got this bullishness. You know, uh, Coinbase is, is going to crash. It's going to take the market down. Chapter 11 is going to happen. All the while... All that news was coming out. The metric was able to call the drops in crypto. Do you guys see what, what I just said there? You guys realize how much ridiculous, bullish, and bearish news came out during this entire time? But you're telling me out of all that news, this was still able to predict the exact candle of every drop in the ascending channel? That's insane. There may be more going on in the background where news may be tied to more of algorithms in trading, which I think we may have stumbled upon one of those algorithms. Because it, does that make sense to you guys? It, it's, it kind of baffled me this morning when I was thinking about that. I'm like, oh my gosh, chapter 11 Coinbase. All of that came out here, but this still called it regardless of the news. So here's what I'm watching for, guys. I exited 25% of my position. I'll show you why. But the next time we see Bitcoin over here push up and we get a sell signal on the daily time frame, which this is going to update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every morning, I'm going to be exiting a, a pretty <laughs> substantial amount of my portfolio. Okay, let me take to you guys, take you guys to this, and this is going to be a little bit surprising for you guys because we have yet another surprise for you guys. All right, you guys know this. In order to access these crypto metrics over here, just come over here. We we lowered our membership price from ninety five dollars a month. We lowered it down to seventy five dollars a month. We added four new crypto charts. You guys are going to get all of this with the $75 a month. And then the extra surprise we gave you guys on Friday is we're going to just give you guys access to the crypto charts for free if you have $75 a month. If you just want stocks, great. You guys can just look at stocks and you guys can trade options and you're probably going to do very well with that. Okay. The next surprise I want to tell you guys about is this. We are working on trying to code these metrics. Because they are so accurate, guys, we're going to try to code this into a trading view indicator that we can give you guys access to on trading view. So you can look at... Here we go, lower time frames. And this brings me into the part of the video of why I ended up exiting 25% this morning. Yes, if you guys are using our older indicators here, trend exhaustion and price versus well money flow, they are definitely high. Like look how ridiculously high this is. So you guys can still use these. Trend exhaustion, top red section, well money flow high. Um, Cardano, really high. Take a look at AVAX, guys. It's pushing up so ridiculously high this morning. All right, here's what I'm using this for. It's so much cleaner. We are getting a sell signal up here, 
And when this candle closes at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, because this one closed at 5 a.m., so we got to wait four hours because we're on the four-hour time frame. So when this closes, this is going to give us either an official sell or not a sell. It's going to take it away, okay? It's what's called a non-repainting indicator. Once the candle closes, it never takes the signal away. I want to teach you guys how to read this. Bitcoin right now is pushing up into the top red band here. We also see down here that we have the market reversal indicator going off like crazy, okay? It's got red bars here with a sell signal currently, and we're pushing up into the top red section here. This is a time where I, if you're, let's say, let me say it a different way. If you're not taking some profit, guys, you're not using good risk management. I'm not saying exit your whole position. I'm not your financial advisor by any means, but I ended up exiting another 25%, and we currently, if you guys want to know my numbers of what I'm sitting at over here, we have roughly 20% of our entire portfolio in crypto, and 80%, roughly 80%, is in cash right now because I'm looking at these metrics over here and I'll just I'll go through the top eight so you guys can see this. Like we're pushing up here, we got red bars for sure. Mana up here, we got a sell signal up here and we've got the red bars coming out. And by the way, guys, we're pushing up to, you know, some people could technically call us a, a sloppy double top, okay? Dogecoin over here, an indecision candle, maybe a doji candle coming back down. If that closes like that, it's usually a market reversal candle. We've got the red bars here. DOT pushing in the top red section. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at SHIB. I'm sorry. I should take a look at SHIB real quick. Okay. We're looking at this. Sell signal flashing as well. Avalanche. Avalanche is ridiculous, guys. I do believe we're going to see a drop on Avalanche. We're pushed up into what's called liquidity zones. So this liquidity pool, liquidity zone here, when you get this red pool here, this is where a lot of people in their long trades are going to be looking to take profit. What happened this morning is that the market is getting overstimulated, guys. I firmly believe this is an overstimulated market and we're due for a move back down, okay? You guys will be able to watch this, but as I'm seeing all this, let's I'll come over to the SPY here for a second. So the SPY is even pushed up in here to this top what's called liquidity pool, where a lot of long traders are gonna be looking to take some profit up here because we are far overextended, okay? If you guys come over here and watch on the daily time frame for the SPY, go to the stock charts and watch this. The last three times, this has predicted some massive moves back down the SPY. Okay, the next one I'm looking for is just a sell signal to come out here, and that's where I'm probably going to look to exit 50% of everything I have in the market for crypto. And then we're going to look to buy it back in a lot lower. Guys, we are due for another move back down. This cannot just keep screaming up here as fast as it has. So I love these metrics, guys. Hey, took a, take a look at Apple. Take a look at Microsoft. Take a look at Google. All of the top companies by market cap we've covered for you guys on here. So come over here, snag a membership. Enjoy this. If you want access to everything, the full website, just do the $75 a month and you guys will access that. But I want to show this to you guys if, yes, we've got a bullish article here, but it doesn't mean crypto is just going to keep heading up and keep heading up. Real quick, I'll leave this with you guys right here. If you're looking at this resistance that we've been looking at basically, you know, just for such a long time of 415, let me call it here, pull a horizontal line here real quick. Um, let me go like this. Let me Actually, let me do this. I'm going to give you guys a zone. I'm going to end this video right here. Horizontal line, this is the resistance we got to be looking at right there. It correlates to this candle wick. We have literally hit that and we started to drop here. So today we're going to have a battle. It's either we're going to drop back down and we actually may come back and purchase more crypto today or tomorrow. So please watch the, the call that I'm going to be making for all of you guys as members. I called it out this morning in our Telegram channel. If we keep going up here, guys, the next resistance is going to be up here. Watch for simply a sell signal on the daily time frame for the SPY to look for the greatest drop back down. When that happens, we're going to be patient for it, and that's where we're going to probably exit 50% of all of our um, positions in crypto. And that's going to be in the Coinbase account, not the long-term holding. We're just going to keep this. We're not going to touch this because if it goes up, we make money. If it goes down, we use this account to acquire more coins, okay? I love this, guys. I hope you're having a really, really good day. I do have all the cells mocked up for us so you guys can see this here where we exited the 25%. Just keep everything transparent. We're using a couple different charts now. But biggest thing to do, guys, is watch this over here on crypto on the daily time frame. Watch for the next sell signal for the biggest drop in crypto and come over to the stock charts and watch this for SPY for the next sell signal for the biggest drop in SPY. I really do believe these metrics are going to be able to call it pretty accurately, and that's what I'm watching. I love you guys. Snag a membership below. Feel free to get the indicators if you guys would like, and we are working on potentially releasing our metrics in a trading view indicator this week. So you guys can use them on any time frame you would like. Stick around for that, guys. Sign up for a membership, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.